Hey guys, it's me, Kristen Marie. Today we are testing out a tomato syrup. I'm not testing it out. We're putting this to the test. I'm going to be using this over the next actually the next month or longer every day twice a day to see does this do a difference for my skin did it make a difference did it take away the fine lines and wrinkles we are going to be comparing picture to picture throughout this whole time frame and are we going to see a difference this is quite pricey it is 150 dollars it's called by Roe, i guess by Roe, by Roe. i don't know if i'm spelling if i'm saying that right that is the name of it right there. You guys, you know, let me know. Did I say it correctly or not? But this came in my BoxyCharm box like a long time ago. And I thought, hey, you know what? Might as well try it. Might as well put it to the test because this sucker is $150. Yes, did you hear me right? I said one, five, zero. Yeah, a lot of money. Would you pay $150 for a tomato serum i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and list all the stuff that it claims to do i know it claims to help with fine lines and wrinkles and all that good stuff but is it worth the money because you know what you guys know me i'm going to give it to you straight if a product is amazing kind of like i found the sleeping collagen by algenis to be absolutely like mind-blowing showed you guys picture for picture that's exactly what we're going to do in this video i'm going to be comparing picture to picture throughout all of this time doing some check-ins as well and showing you guys the consistency of it the like how my skin looks what do I think all we care about really is does it work because I I would hate for you guys to go spend mad amount of money because some salesperson told you like oh this is the 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 royalty of all all skincare products and it didn't work nobody wants to waste their money we're all but like paycheck to paycheck right now considering that the economy hasn't opened up fully and a lot of people are still not at work so is this good for your skin let you guys know just i'm being straight up straightforward with you guys at the very end of this video, the last week of me using this product, I wa I did go to San Diego, so I was in the sun, but I was wearing SPF 50, okay? So it I don't care. You know, everybody typically is in the sun. They walk to their car, they walk to their work, they go to the grocery store, you are in the sun. So I was wearing SPF and I do have freckles that come out when I am in the sun. So we are. I am really focusing on like, well, did it diminish any, any spots on my skin? But mostly, I'm going to be focusing on wrinkles and seeing if there is a different I difference. Is there not? Just because I was in the sun for a few hours one day shouldn't make the biggest difference. But just FYI, I know my freckles do come out a little bit more uh, when I am in the sun. So let's go ahead and just roll on over to the video. And I'm going to show you guys the consistency, what I think. P compare picture, 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 picture by picture. And you guys let me know at the at, at the end of the video what you thought. I'll give you guys my final opinion. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you agree, but I'm going to give it to you straightforward. So let's go ahead and just roll on over to that video. Okay, guys. So this is a long time later. It's exactly this many days. And the reason I do this many days and I have to count because I don't keep track of it in my head. I look from when I first started the video and then the check-ins throughout and the picture dates and all of that. Anyways, I know you guys um, have seen this. Like I was saying earlier on in the video, I know you guys have seen this all over. Uh, I am kind of disappointed in the packaging, but it's not about the packaging. It's about what's in the bottle. Now, I already have it on my face. So you can see like I already have like it feels like I have a hydration to my face. Like it's not slippery dry. Um, but I thought I would put it on in this video to show you guys this. Oh, and FYI, this um, dropper is freaking amazing. Like look at this. It fills it all the way to the top. I have never had issues with the dropper. I have had issues with other droppers uh, from like tart maracuja oil things like that i've had issues with other products and the dropper the dropper here is amazing now you do see this yellow tint or orangish yellow tint to the serum i don't know if it's just that way because um it's a tomato serum but you guys can see so moving my head it's not really budging right so it is a consistency of a thick it's kind of funny so it's thick but then you rub it and it's like watery, you know, it's like a, oh, not, it's like a watery gel, right? But it, it, it sounds like an oxymoron how I'm explaining it to you, you know, like so you saw it didn't budge. But then when you, when you uh, 
like wipe it through the face like this when you spread it through the face very easy to spread it doesn't feel thick and it really doesn't have a fragrance to it when you spread it out now if i don't spread it out and i pull this out no it really still doesn't have a fragrance so that's a plus plus i would prefer things that are fragrant free but you guys can see so i actually would recommend this wearing it in the daytime and the nighttime because it really does just kind of feel like a moisturizer on the face so you can see like my fingers don't slide they kind of adhere but then again it's not sticky when it dries it just feels like a light moisturizer, but you guys don't really care about that. Maybe you do care about how it feels. All I care about is, did we see a difference or not? And this is supposed to improve fine lines and wrinkles. It's supposed to have peptides, collagen, all this good stuff, right? Is it worth $150? So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture now. We're going to compare all the pictures back to back next to each other. And then at the very end, I want to compare the very first one to the very last one and see Hey, does my skin look different? You guys know I have these 11s between my eyes, which I think those are always going to be there unless I'm sleeping with my Breathe Right strip on. But the fine line and wrinkles here, you know, wrinkles all over. I have little tiny fine wrinkles. Yeah, I do. But let's go ahead and just compare the photos and I will let you guys know what I think at the end of the video. Okay, guys, so it's very late in the evening. I literally have been taking the pictures that I have taken for the last six weeks and comparing them side by side, zooming in super close. Now, honestly, I'm going to say this. When I started using the serum, I found that it looked like my skin was getting a little bit brighter for a very short period amount of time, for a very short amount of time. And then I'm like, but when I zoom in to the photo, it did look like it was like, getting brighter as far as like my freckles didn't look as visible but when i zoomed into the photo i didn't see not one bit of a difference in my wrinkles i have very fine wrinkles here i have more compression wrinkles here i have some wrinkles in my lips and then obviously the ones under your eyes so i really don't know guys honestly i'm like did you see a difference i didn't see a difference like, I really didn't. And then, I, like I told you at the beginning of this video, I was in the sun for a few hours wearing SPF 50. And I reapplied it. And I still felt like I didn't see a difference. Like, I, I see that the, the last photo I took was after being fully exposed to the sun. You can see all my freckles came right back. But as far as the actual wrinkles themselves... I didn't see anything. This is literally every flipping day and sometimes twice a day with this serum. Day, night for six weeks. Did you see a difference? Let me know. Like I said, the only difference I saw is that it maybe got my skin a little bit clearer. But then again, like I told you, I avoid the sun. So there I was in the sun and I saw all my freckles come back or my age spots, whatever you call. I personally think they're freckles, um, maybe some age spots, but this is why I like to test out products because a lot of times if I go into the sun without any sunscreen, I will freckle, get age spots a whole bit. And if the product claims that it actually like reduces age spots, if it clears up the skin, if it makes it look brighter like this one does, if it does all this stuff to my skin, then that's the ideal time for me to test something. I tested it out. I did see my skin get a pinch brighter, but then like that was only within the first two, three weeks. And then the last three weeks, like I didn't see a freaking difference. Let me show you the photo again. This is like three weeks into using it. Like I'm comparing side to side. I'm zooming in. I don't see a difference. Now I understand that at the very last photo, like I said, you can see my age spots, my freckles. 
I do not see a difference. 150 flipping dollars. Now, not only is it $150, I just don't feel, I understand it's what's in the bottle, but if I were to pay that kind of money, I expect to get glass. This is plastic, which is cheaply made if it's plastic. If it's glass, yeah, okay, maybe they're, no, I'm not, I wasn't saying maybe they're being more friendly with the environment, but no, plastic is not biodegradable. You can recycle well, you can recycle plastic. But anyways, I would assume this would be glass. It would be heavy duty. This is just like a plastic. The dropper's great. The presentation looks great, except that it feels cheap in the hand. The box looks great. I do appreciate that it says no 100% zero fragrances, uh, paraffins, mineral oils, yada, yada, yada. For this price, I'm sorry. I am very disappointed. I mean, if you guys feel different, this is just how I personally feel. I'm very disappointed. I feel like for that kind of money, I should have seen a reduction in my wrinkles. And I did not. And it's unfortunate for me to say this because I hate giving any company a bad review. But I'm going to bring it to you guys straight. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't go spend $150 on this product just because you saw my skin lighten for a few weeks. Don't do that. There are other products that will that really focus on your wrinkles and really focus on those aid spots slash freckles, whatever you want to call it. But unfortunately, I'm going to give this, this product, I was going to say not a, a thumbs down, not a full thumbs down, uh, three quarters of a thumbs down because it did not affect my wrinkles at all. Unfortunately, that's just my opinion, or fortunately, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to say unfortunately. Unfortunately, it just didn't work. Anyways, I don't know where my mind is. A very, very busy day. I was running around, and I was trying to edit, and I was really researching these videos every chance I got, and I really did not see the biggest difference. So I hope that you guys love these videos. I thank you all so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you guys that have been there through the last 11 freaking years I've been doing this and supporting me, giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate and love all of you guys. Thank you so much. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, little subscribe button, and the tiny little bell next to it for notifications of, vid of, video, uh, for notifications of future videos. I'm going to give this one a three quarters of a thumbs down, but hopefully you guys give this video a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye. Mwah.